all my Scorpio friends. Thank you for uh, for uh, dropping in. Thank you for subscribing if you're here for the first time. Thank you for subscribing if you've been here all along. And uh, I'm just here to give you your weekly wisdom. I said I was going to do that a couple weeks ago, then I got sick and, you know, all that stuff that went down. So, unfortunately, uh, we didn't get it done then, but we're starting today. I'm not going to put any dates and times on these um, videos, just because I feel as though they're going to be good for anyone who comes across them at the time that they do. You're meant to see a reading at the time when you're meant to see it. So, um, what I'm going to do um, this time around, and this is just for the weekly wisdom. It's a very short video, it's maybe 10 or 12 minutes long. And and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull a spirit, an animal spirit card for you. Um, we are also going to pull a weekly uh, wisdom for you. And then I'm going to clarify those two with the tarot so we can get more information. So I'm just going to ask uh, um, that Archangel Michael be present. Any guides and angels that could be present. Hold us to the pure white light if it could protect me as I open a channel spirit. Spirit, thank you for the beautiful gift you've given me to help the collective Scorpio for the week ahead. This message is for you. I upload them every Sunday and it is a general reading again. So this, this is about the energy that's going to be in and around you. Um, so depending on how it may fit, you may have to flip flop the characters and so on, just like a general reading. Anything else you need to know about this reading is down in the description. And, oh, you're coming in as the hawk. Your energy for the week is the hawk. Um, I am still using books because these are new um, uh, cards for me, these first two. Some of them I have not used yet because I just haven't pulled them um, in a reading. So um, this is, uh, you'll see at the top, they will all have an alchemical um, uh, marking. And this is the alchemical marking for um, air, of course, because the hawk is an air creature. Look here. And the hawk. Okay, so I like to read these pages from the bottom to the top because uh, all that good information is the bottom and the top and then the middle is, you know, all the other stuff. So um, we'll start with the bottom. It says that the hawk, when the hawk is in balance, um, they see. They're a seer. So they're very, um, uh, they see things very clearly and they're very intuitive. Um, when out of balance, um, you'll see too much and you'll be very suspicious of other people. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, when bringing um, yourself back into balance, if you have knocked yourself out of balance or someone's knocked you out of balance, um, you would need a perspective shift. So that's like going into the hangman, right? Trying to see things from another perspective. Um, it says here that the hawk itself is watchful, all seeing and a messenger of divinity. Wow, beautiful, beautiful energy for the week. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch are every move. Uh, these keen-eyed birds have the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture when this card appears. Fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. Oh, I hope they're shifting in your favor. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. Wow, 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 Scorpio, wow. Well, you guys are intuitive, so, um, well, and if you don't feel intuitive, listen to your gut. You you are a water sign, so at some point you, you are going to start to feel um, uh, intuitive, depending on where you are in your life. Um, uh, it is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings. We already said that. The message should not be taken lightly. Though it may seem small or insignificant, it would eventually redirect your course. Wow, that's your energy that is going to be in and around you this week. That is amazing. So um, something is going to be shifting in the wind for you. Um, and uh, it's coming straight from the divine. Your divine timing is coming in, Scorpio. We had talked about this, right? We had talked about this in your readings last week um, about divine timing. So um, that's the animal spirit meaning of that card. So we are going to then um, pick up the weekly wisdom here. Um the uh, Wisdom Oracle. And these ones I think I know just a little bit better than the other ones. I'm still getting to know those animal cards though. And the energies that they bring. Go the distance. Look at that. That cheetah is not even touching the ground. Wow. Crossing the finish line. Go the distance. I'm going to have to read into this a little bit. But this looks like something is coming in fast for you this week. So you are encouraged to go the distance. Take care, jump on that thing that you want. It is yours. 
reach out for it and it can be yours. I'm just going to grab the book though and see what else it says. So that's number 47. Uh, so seven, uh, 47 breaks down to a 10, which is a one, which is a primary card, um, which is very interesting. Because if you remember, the one in the tarot is um, the magician. So you have everything that you need to make everything um, go the way it's supposed to go this week. I think that's what it's going to tell us. So go the distance. Uh, the essential meaning is endurance, strength, and the long haul. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so in your relationship, you either are uh, in or calling in a harmonious relationship. Um, that can stand the test of time for better or worse and you ride and you'll ride the ups and downs and even strain and break yourself and are are remade through new growth so it's kind of like a little bit of a tower perhaps maybe things will fall in order to be rebuilt you're being redeemed by the power of regeneration amazing regeneration um, harmony does not mean that there will be never never be a wrong note played but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity so here they're not talking about the person that you just met they're talking about going the long haul so they're not talking about um, you know just the, the whirlwind love they're talking about the partnership part of the relationship so relationship is easy to get into it's the partnership that's hard to endure um, ask me i know ask anybody who's been through that cycle um, a new song can be written an instrument can be tuned and a symphony of love will will play on listen with your heart isn't it magnificent oh wow that's really wonderful that is great energy for the week okay let's get into our tarot here All right, Scorpio, let's see what we've got for clarification. Can you clarify, please, the pop card? Wow, jumping everywhere. Can you clarify the pop card, please? Please clarify the hop card for Scorpio. Ooh, got two that flew out. Ooh, look at that. Love. Love is in the air. <laughs> and you've got strength so you need to be strong and just like just like I was saying in the hawk here um, that you do you do need to be strong right um, so it looks like love is coming in for you this week um, I would suggest that um, you look at it and really decide if it is the thing that you want I think that's why the strength card is here it's telling you that um, you know, this this may not be your person. Um, have strength, even if it's going to make you, if it's you going into someone else to let them know about love, make sure that you have your strength. Your inner strength is really important in this situation um, if you're going to tell this person that you are in love with them. If that person comes to you and tells you they're in love with you, I would say that it's time to go inside. I wouldn't make any sudden moves. Um, the hawk is intuitive. Use your gut, Scorpio. You, you, If you've been depending on your gut lately and your gut knows, start to learn to, um, to um, be connected to divinity. Uh, learn to start to use your, your intuitiveness. Um, so that's what's going on with the hawk card. I'm just going to put down two cards to clarify. Go the distance. We've got the um, little bit of a stalker card, Page of Swords, and we got someone waiting for their ships to come in. Okay, so um, someone, it looks like that someone is uh, wanting to go the distance with you, or you're wanting to go the distance with somebody else. That person is um, going to be coming in with a love message, so um, that person is um, checking out online, Scorpio. Um, they're looking to see what you're doing depending on whether you have your Facebook page locked down or not. They might go to Instagram, see if they can find you there. Um, and then it uh, looks like um, they're waiting for their ships to come in, or you are waiting for your ships to come in. Um, perhaps it is somebody that you're watching, and you're waiting for your ships to come in. Either way, somebody's got to make a move, Scorpio. Whether you're waiting or they're waiting, someone's waiting, and so someone needs to talk about this stuff, 
<laughs> about going the distance. So this could be in a marriage that you're in currently that you need to have a talk about, is it time is it time to ride it off into the ditch or is it time to stay in this marriage, get, get recommitted to this marriage? Same within a, a relationship. Um, this also could be something new though because the um, the page of wands is um, is younger energy. So you're either younger than them or they're younger than you, but there is a, a bit of an age gap and that person has been looking at you on social media. Um, or, you know, maybe that person works in your, um, in your office and you guys talk every day and that person's kind of had their eye on you, like, mm, should I, shouldn't I? Or maybe you have, are the person that has your eye on them. Maybe should I, shouldn't I? So, and that's, uh, really it. So, um, that is a quick and short read for your week. Um, if you could please take the time to, um, click that, um, to uh, click the thumbs up uh, if you like the reading and if you could um, uh, subscribe or share that would be great it keeps my channel moving and then I can continue to bring you great content we're gonna try these Sundays um, the wisdom um, the, the weekend wisdoms and for a, a, a peek at your week we're gonna try and see if they work and if we don't well we'll just try and go to different programming and that's okay too anything else you need to know about this reading is in the description and uh, if you want a private reading please uh, check the email address and um, give me back uh, some an email and we'll make a, um, a decision you and I as to how we're gonna um, get your reading to you okay uh, so namaste have a good week please uh, leave me a comment let me know is this resonating now did it resonate during the week thank you so much. Bye Scorpio.